Hey dudes, how you doing? It's Saint. Hope you're doing well. Hope you are healthy. What's going on with Bayonetta? <laughs> I mean, I know it's a Nintendo game that was like super popular and everyone loved it. And I was like, oh my god, Bayonetta! And now there's some weird drama going on with one of the voice actresses like that apparently is underpaid at a rate that I, I just don't know if it's underpaid or not because obviously I'm not a voice actress. But I did have experience from voice acting. Ironically, I did voice act at some point. It's, it's an interesting thing. It's a little interesting plot that we're gonna gonna take a look at we're gonna just <laughs> smell the decaying roses of this beautiful game okay so i have the video right in front of me has a great start uh friends worldlings bayonutters i don't know what i think about bayonutters honestly i think about some people with some very interesting fetishes that's a valid thing considering if you've seen bayonetta there's barely any clothes going on in some of those uh, costumes or clothing or outfits whatever that she wears so i mean it makes sense to be a bayonutter you know, the average gamer probably is, but the amount of hashtags we're looking at Platinum Games, Nintendo, Bayonetta, Bayonetta 3, Bayonutters, Boycott, Nintendo Europe, Nintendo America, Nintendo Japan. Just saying Nintendo isn't enough, you need to just choose every single branch Nintendo has to be able to comment about this because that is the Twitter way. Also, I'm noticing that I'm not blurring out my background. I mean, that's part of why I got this camera in the first place. <laughs> so uh, let me fix that. Literally the very moment I turned on the whole like focus thing on, it just, my face did and I had to fix it, but we're good. We're good. Video is continuing. It's, uh, <laughs> strap in into the lovely drama that is Bayonetta 3. Hello, my name's Helena Taylor. Just off the start, like that awkward couple of seconds just to wait. Clearly she wants to boycott or whatever. And this is a whole, you know, dramatic thing, but I mean, you could have just trimmed the video. You could have just trimmed it a little bit, you know, put a little bit more effort. Now you're trying to convince people to boycott a whole game, you know, and get everyone against them. I mean, you, you gotta try. And I am the voice of Bayonetta. And I would like to explain to you why I didn't voice Bayonetta 3. The Bayonetta franchise made an approximated $450 million. That's not including merchandise. As an actor, I trained for a total of seven and a half years. Three years at the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art, Lambda, with voice coach Barbara Barkery and four and a half years with the legendary Larry Moss in Los Angeles. And what did they think this was worth? What did they offer to pay me? The final offer to do the whole game as a buyout, a flat rate, was 4,000 US dollars. This is an insult to me. The amount of time that I took to work on my talent and everything that I have given to this game and to the fans. I am asking the fans to boycott this game and instead all right, uh, relax, Darth Vader, relax. There's so many other people that are affected by game development, right? It's not just you, sweetheart. There's a bunch of games that need good actresses, right? But you doing this basically ensured that no one is going to be interested in hiring you. Because this is the kind of shit you pull. Just, 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 just hold on. Like, who would want to offer someone a job, right? To have them shit on your company and shit on your employees if they don't like what you have to offer them. Spend the money that you would have spent on this game donating it to charity. I didn't want the world. I didn't ask for too much. I was just asking for a decent, dignified living wage. Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> dignified living wage uh i don't know <laughs> this woman i mean maybe if you live in the uk things are different right and like you have to kind of like maneuver the whole currency thing which is a very valid thing but four thousand dollars isn't anything to scoff at there's people making two grand a month there's people making a thousand fifteen hundred dollars a month right and they could also have studies and they could also have a bunch of stuff but maybe not have the opportunities she's so she just sounds like an ingrate dude four thousand dollars for some hours work worth of work is not bad let's say someone works 40 hours a week there's 
four weeks in a month, 160 hours a month, and they get less than what you earn in a couple of hours? Don't talk about dignified pay. Hi, this is Saint from the future. Honestly, didn't see that there were multiple parts to it. It's bad. It's bad. Uh, there's a whole part where she just goes off about how Jennifer Hale isn't, you know, she doesn't have the right to sign any merchandise or say that she's Bayonetta. They now have a new girl voicing her own phone. And I love actors. I wish her all the joy in the world. I wish her all the jobs, but she has no right to say she is the voice of Bayonetta. I created that voice. She has no right to sign merchandise as Bayonetta any more than I have the right to sign as Eva Green, even though I was her parrot on the video game, The Golden Compass. That portrayal is hers and hers alone. They'll probably try and do a spin-off with Jan. Don't buy that either. Uh, she proceeds to quote the moral compass, Jesus Christ, which I'm pretty sure that this is not something Jesus would condone. I would like to quote to you from the greatest moral teacher who ever lived, Jesus Christ, from his parable. I'm no expert, but I'm sure that Jesus Christ would not condone rallying people up against a voice actress or against a group of people and using your mental health as a weapon against them. I'm pretty sure uh, that that's not something he'd, uh, he'd appreciate. Jennifer Hale, uh, her answer was actually pretty decent and shows why she has the money that she has and the success that she has and why she doesn't. With regard to Bayonetta 3, as a longtime member of the voice acting community, I support every actor's right to be paid well and have advocated consistently for this for years. Anyone who knows me or has followed my career will know that I have great respect for my peers and that I am an advocate for all members of the community. I am under an NDA and am not at liberty to speak regarding this situation. My reputation speaks for itself. I sincerely ask that everyone keep in mind that this game has been created by an entire team of hardworking, dedicated people, and I hope everyone will keep an open mind about what they've created. Finally, I hope that everyone involved may resolve their differences in an amicable and respectful way. With love and respect to you all, Jennifer Hale. Bravo. This was beautiful. And if you, know, if you look at the tweets, it's like very professional, unlike someone else. Exactly my point, Melvin. Okay, then we have a comment because obviously Twitter's a cesspool uh, from Patrick Tillis saying a little tidbit of information because seeing this in every boycott so and so discourse drives me insane. Developers aren't paid based on sales. In no way is your decision to not buy a game or the people who work them said again. I feel like math is not this man's strong suit. And in the sense that developers make their money from the sales of the game. When they are paying their developers beforehand, they are making a huge investment in them. If they don't return on that investment, that's where layoffs start to happen. That's where whole studios start to collapse because like they get their money from their games. If you decide not to buy their games, yeah, sure, they got paid up until the game releases, but for the next game, they may not have enough seats available. Ah, man, see, since Bayonetta 3 didn't do so well, I mean, we don't have the money, you know, to hire you know, this dude, you know, struggling guy over here, or this new graduate. You can't help people like that, because, you know, they're cheap, and, you know, they're disposable. That's how companies work, my guy. <laughs> Where else are they getting their money, Jesus? Thousands of dollars out of the air, like, here, here, developers, have it all, have it all. Hey, you want a thousand dollars? Yeah, have a thousand dollars. They put an investment, the sale, the sales of the game is the return on that investment, and then they continue to invest. That's exactly how that works. It does affect the developers in the sense that the studio will make decisions to protect its assets, and the developers would be left as kind of like the bottom of the barrel. And they're not gonna fire the execs, you know? They're gonna, not gonna fire the business people. They're gonna fire, you know, the developer, the person that coded that not so important animation, or the person that drew that not so important landscape. This is, this is why I don't get into Twitter. See, like, I'm not even, I'm not even a couple minutes in this, this stupid tweet and now I'm already hating on Patrick over here. Um, I just sorry. Uh, just shut the fuck up, Patrick. <laughs> what do I think? I already said everything, I think. This sucks. You know, la lady number one is just being a lot, okay? This, that's just it. She's being a lot. And lady number two, which is Jennifer Beautiful Hale, is obviously taking things like a champ and making everyone else look like Neanderthals, which I genuinely enjoy. Do you agree with Miss or Mrs. British Lady, or do you agree with Jennifer Hale, where 
just take into account that there's other people in the game. You know, you're not uh, the only star on the show. <laughs> so, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I upload videos every single week about Tucker Gaming. Remember, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch at St. Wilbur, as well as join the pack on Discord. Thank you for watching, my dude, and I hope you have a good one. Bye-bye. What was that, like, little... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking <laughs> neck snaps. Uh, <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Too much. Bye.